You might have to hold it till I get it lifted a little bit, okay? Ah, there you go. That's good. All right, let's take it. I'll take it right there. Hey, folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about something that, well, can plague bandsaw mills and their operators quite often, and that is knots in big pine logs. Folks, when you're milling a decent sized pine log, like the one that's on the deck now, it's about 18 inches in diameter on the small end. And when they've got knots, those knots can be hard as rock. And when you get two or three of those knots that are all lined up together, so the band is trying to cut two or three knots at a time, it can be a problem. You could run into waves. And if you've already changed out the band, so you got a brand new band, you checked your drive belt tension and you're still cutting waves well that's what we're going to talk about today so first i am going to get the band changed and then i'm going to tell you what i did to solve this issue so stick around let's get to it that didn't last long <laughs> that band must have got dull on that last one and i just didn't catch it here before dumping into this one feel some feel it see here is not too bad but go right here you feel how it rises right there? right there see it's higher right here right there so it's lower here lower here you, you can see it then I can feel it and see it yeah I can oh, yeah there it is I can yep. feel the hump. now that knot a big knot they're hard so if your band is dull gonna ride up over that and cause you problems. And that's a four degree band, which are usually really good at cutting those big knots and wide cuts. But when they get dull, they get dull. Okay, get that band changed. Now, that's always the first thing. I'm gonna change the band, make sure I got a nice sharp band. And since I've already checked my drive belt tension, I know that's good. So the next step is to take the next pass eh, about a quarter inch to half an inch lower than the previous pass because there were some waves in it. So I'm gonna take that pass with a fresh band at my normal speed. That's kind of my typical routine. So if I'm cutting wide, if I'm cutting some knots, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. But if doing that doesn't work perfectly, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do something that Woodmeister tells you to do. And you know what? Jake Dean over at Custom Sawyer has also mentioned before, which is I'm gonna turn the lube off. I know it seems crazy. It seems counterproductive. But folks, I'm gonna turn the lube off. Now, I'm not gonna completely turn it off. I'm just not gonna have it on during the cut, folks. So as you watch me mill, I want you to kind of see if you could see when the lube is on and when the lube is off. Yeah, and that could be, I may try to come down one more and just see if cutting underneath those solves that issue because sometimes these are so hard. I could try going a little slower. Yeah. Sometimes going slower will do it. I think we'll give that a try. It looks pretty.
It's a little better. Definitely a little better. Look at how court, look at how nice that is. Let me get my let me get my blower on there. That's definitely better. Part probably just speed. Good speed control. Those big knots though are hard as rock. So, but we got it. Just had to slow way down. All right, we'll take another cut and then I'll flip it over. This stuff looks awesome, doesn't it? All right, so yes, slower helps. It does, fresh band, nice tight drive belt, Running slower helps, but what you can do is you can turn the lube off in the cut. Now, what you'll see me doing a little bit here, I hope I captured it for you, is before I go to move forward and take the cut, I open up the lube all the way and I let it clean the band off. Then I shut it off and I make the cut. And right at the end, you're gonna notice there's no water spraying. It's because the lube's off. However, once the band starts to gum up a little bit, then I just engage the auto clutch, turn the lube on, but don't move forward and just let the band clean off. Hey, guess what? It worked really good, folks. Give it a try. Let's get this log done. That one there is junk, that one's paneling thickness. Okay. And then this one is one inch. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it, blow them off, and then show you what we did here, okay? Now we're gonna blow it off and then we'll show Joe. Because this is a book match. There you go, take a look at that. That's pine, but if you were to cut this flat, cut a flat edge here uh -huh. on both of these, yes. it's book matched. 
Oh. Be how would you do that? Because it looks really cool. Yeah. So how would you do that? Oh, uh, either I can do it on here or you could do it with a track saw. Do what? You have a track? Like a track saw track? No? Oh, I've got a track saw track. Uh-huh. You put, you put it on here and then you run your skill saw down. Yeah. Make okay. a nice flat cut. Yeah. Or, nice. it is nice. Or we just stand it up on the mill. But can you do that? Yeah. I can do that right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, make sure that don't fall. Now you got about 32 inches on the wide, but see now if you butt them together, yeah. then that'll make a nice tabletop. You see that? Yeah. So there you go. It'll take two of you to haul them out. <laughs> They're heavy. So there you have it, folks. Simple as that. Turn the lube off in the cut. The reason it works is it doesn't get the sawdust wet, which would make it gum up, and the gullets in the band can't remove it fast enough. So with dry bands, no lube, dry sawdust, the band can, can clean the cut out very efficiently. Now you've got no sawdust in the way, and you, you've got just that little extra cutting power when cutting through those big knots that you can see right there. And you know, when you get three of them in a row like that, or these two here, man, I'm telling you, it's a challenge to cut those. So try turning off your lube. It works really well. You just use the lube before and after the cut to clean the band off, and then you're good to go. Run it again. I had no problems at all doing that. It worked great. Great, so thanks to Wood Miser and Jake Dean of Custom Sawyer for mentioning that previously. It worked like a charm. And look at that gorgeous stuff that we made for old Joe here. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll drop another video right here for you. Y'all have a great day. The old jar hit out.